Hi guys, uh, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Saurabh Chhabra. So this video would be the continuation of where I was uh, creating the greenfield deployment. So let's just get started. So in my previous video, I told you that we have to create uh, an Excel where we would be defining what all resources we would be creating, right? So this is a new Excel where I'm uh, working with a different company where I have defined a different uh, kind of a naming standard. So what I'm doing for a resource group, it would be resource type, the region, hub and spock, the type of, for what RG I'm creating, and then the 0, 1, or 0, 2, the numbers, right? For VNet, I'm doing the same. The naming standard would be resource type, region, hub and spoke, and then the number. For subnet, uh, the naming standard would be resource type, region, hub and spoke, the tire, which is, uh, you know, web, uh, app, DB, or for hub, it could be management, AD, security, so whatever, right? For NSG, uh, th it is similar, but I have a, res a resource type, a region, the hub and spoke, and then the type and then the tire, right? So it would be, for example, I'm working for Central India, it would be NSG, CI, uh, Central India, it's, it would be for hub, it would be for subnet, it's not at the NIC level, it's at the subnet level, and then the subnet name, right? It, it's for the management subnet. So this is how I have uh, the naming standard done. So, and I have, uh, so what I'm doing is, I have, I have these VNets, four VNets to be created, and and these four units would be part of uh, the different uh, resource group, right? And all these uh, four units will have uh, different subnets into it. And you can see these are the subnets. So for hub, we have five subnets. For uh, spokes, we have uh, different subnets. And that would be part of the different RG, right? So if a subnet which is inside uh, the spoke, one then it will be part of the spoke one rg so this is how i have done and as far as nsg scores this again it will be part of uh, applied to the subnet level right so if this is the uh, management uh, subnet uh, nsg so it would be applied at the management level and it will be part of the rg which is uh, you know having the uh, the resources which would be part of the uh, hub network right so this is how i have uh, i have created uh, an excel sheet where i would be i've given the names so let's just try to uh, deploy it so uh, i'm really very excited uh, when i'm trying to uh, show you how to create these resources from terraform so let's just uh, go to my uh, visual studio code i have created a uh, few files where i have defined the main uh, file which includes my code uh, it's a very uh, big code i will be creating few videos where i would be discussing about what all things we have to create and how to create different files and what all files need to be so i would be creating a series for terraform as well but this video is kind of uh, just to uh, give you a brief idea how uh, we can do things uh, uh, you know in a very automatic uh, you know aut automation way and then, then we can deploy our infrastructure through terraform so this is the main uh, code file where uh, it is the main.tf and uh, then we have variable file where i have defined all the variables we have the tf file where i've defined the name of uh, the the resources that i would be creating so as you can see uh, there are 33 resources that uh, uh, that uh, 33 variable names right so these are the names of the rgs the the uh, vnets the nsgs uh, the uh, uh, subnets so these how uh, we are we have created the tf uh, war files and let's just uh, go back to the main file i'll just uh, briefly show you in the code uh, these are the provider and uh, uh, so uh, we are creating the resource group from this particular block and then we have a separate uh, you know block for virtual networks we have a separate blocks for subnets and then we have separate blocks for nsgs and then we have separate blocks for the association between the NSDs and uh, and the subnet. I have created this uh, separately, but you can always have uh, a subnet as part of the virtual network, and then it it, it can be uh, a, a sub uh, uh, a, a sub uh, you know uh, block where uh, we don't have to 
create a subnet as a separate resource it can be part of the virtual network resource but uh, the best best way to create the uh, you know have a sustainable uh, code is to have uh, resources separately defined separately so that it can be used uh, uh, you know in a different way and it can be reusable so let's just uh, try to uh, do the terraform plan and let's see if uh, this code works and uh, uh, the terraform plan is a command where uh, once uh, you execute this it will show you what all things would be provisioned at your uh, uh, cloud level so it's running in the background i have already authenticated with my current uh, subscription at azure level and once uh, uh, let me just show you uh, so this is my subscription i'm into the subscription at the resource group level i have selected location as central india i just wanted to show you that uh, these are the only resource groups uh, that that is available currently and once we you know create the infrastructure it would be created at uh, it would be created right so if you can see uh, this is the main thing where uh, when the plan command went it says that 44 to add this means that it will add 44 resources and it is uh, there is no change because this is the first time we are uh, hitting this we to destroy it so this is how uh, you know the plan command executes in terraform and give us the output where it will it will show us that what is added what is changed and if you are deleting something so you to destroy so let me just execute the terraform command apply and i'll just auto approve it proof so it will do its magic and it will gonna create the infrastructure for us one by one and it will create the resources and what we can do is while it's performing its uh, task we can go to the uh, resource group and you know hit on refresh and to see what all things it could be created meanwhile it is creating uh, different stuff i want to discuss about the file structure in 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 the terraform right so in terraform we have different files right main file output file variable file terraform uh, dot tf var files we can have different files like provider files and and once uh, we hit it we will have a state file and the state backup file so currently whenever uh, terraform creates an infrastructure it creates uh, a state file and it it's a declarative uh, uh, language and it tool right so it will it will deploy stuff and it will see your current state file if you are changing anything it will go back to you know uh, uh, review at the st uh, state file and to see if you are creating anything if there is already things or if you are changing anything right if, so this is how uh, terraform works and um, so if you could see here right it is creating stuff and I'm just going to go back to the RGs and I hope they are creating few. Okay. Yep. So if you could see here, are, I have just refreshed it. It's already there halfway through. I wanted to see how many things they have created. It has already created a, a VNet, right? But I would love to have NSGs there, right? So let's see if NSGs come. Okay, let's just go to the vnets and see if there's a subnets already created. Yes, so you can see the subnets are already created. It's part of the NSGs. So, you know, it should come with the NSG. So uh, let me just see if the NSGs are there. Yes, so it's creating. It's doing its magic. Yep, so it says that it's completed. It has created 44 resources. I just have to refresh and see if everything is already created it took hardly two minutes right it took two minutes to uh, you know deploy stuff but again if, if i if i have been doing this manually uh, it, it would have taken uh, you know around uh, an hour or two hours depending how uh, how you are used to it right so if you can see this book it has been it it has the nsgs and the nsgs are associated with the subnets right you can see this is the subnet let me just go back there see the vnets see the subnet and you can see the security groups are created so uh, i think it's 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 very good that we have done it and i could show you 
how it's done uh, okay uh, let me just go back to the overview page and click on the vnet just to verify the subnets are created as the naming standard and the thing that we have done yes it has so yeah it, it went really well so this is how we uh, you know deploy stuff but what we can do is we can whenever we want to create anything else if you want to you know create a vm in in, in a hub or uh, this management submit you just have to update the code redeploy the code in terraform and it will be updated in the uh, you know the resource will be created in azure so this is how you manage your infra in infra level uh, stuff at, at the terraform level i will be creating few videos uh, for terraform so stay, stay tuned and if you really find this useful just uh, like share and subscribe to my youtube channel thank you thank you very much